Hi, my name is Alex Dolphin, and welcome back to another episode of Ex Ante. Today we're going to discuss the case of United States v. Gometria. This case was heard in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in the year of 2004. Let's go ahead and jump into the facts of the case. So Gometria, the defendant, was caught by a police officer when he was stealing mail out of people's postal boxes. So he liked to steal mail. He was caught by a police officer. He was prosecuted for theft of mail. He pled guilty to the charges. He was sentenced to two months in, in, in jail. Uh, he was sentenced to some community service. He had to give some lectures to school children in the area about how it's bad to steal, bad to steal mail, and how it can you know lead you down the wrong path. And then he was finally sentenced to stand outside of a USPS postal office with a sandwich board that said, I stole mail, this is my punishment for eight hours. Um, and so his attorneys argue that under the 1984 Sentencing Reform Act, that third aspect of his sentencing, standing with the sandwich board, um, is not valid. Um, the 1984 Sentencing Reform Act was, was passed to try and normalize sentencing across the country. Um, and what they said is that punishment needs to serve three purposes. It needs to serve the purpose of deterrence, so deterrence uh, deterring criminals from committing crimes. It needs to serve the purpose of rehabilitation. So people who have committed crimes, they need to be re rehabilitated through their sentencing, through their punishment. And then finally, um, the, the punishment needs to protect society at large, whether that's through rehabilitation of criminals, through deterrence of crime, um, uh, or just, you know, people are so afraid to commit crimes with deterrence, right? So they don't do it. So they argue um, his attorneys that this standing outside of a USPS office for eight hours um, is not valid. And there's two prongs that they need to argue. Um, the court has developed a two-factor test to say if punishment is valid under the 1984 Sentencing Reform Act. The first is, is it um, used for, is, are the purposes of punishment permissible? Um, and then the second is, is the punishment reasonably related to the crime? So we'll grapple with the first um, quickly. The court says that it, the punishment is permissible in this case, and they say that because it has a deterrence effect and it has a rehabilitative effect, um, it, it's permissible. Uh, they say that it deters people because, you know, if you have to stand outside of the place where you've stolen from for eight hours, you're, you're likely not going to want to do that again. And then you're also, you know, you're gonna be afraid to do it in the first place and uh, you won't steal, right? So it has a rehabilitative effect and it has a deterring effect on crime. Um, the second aspect, is it reasonably related? So the attorneys for Gementria argue that it's not because it's shaming, this, this, this humiliation, this public humiliation, this public shaming, um, that's not captured on the 1984 Sentencing Reform Act. And, and it's not reasonably related because it will really just cause psychological harm on Gementria it won't do any good as far as re rehabilitating him or as far as deterring the crime. Um, it will just cause this psychological harm. And for that reason, it shouldn't be valid. Uh, the court rejects that argument. They say that in a sense, there's going to be humiliation associated with any punishment, whether you go to jail, whether you're doing community service, there's going to be humiliation. There's going to be some sense of shame. And so we can't just invalidate this punishment because there's some shame associated with it. You know, it is, it is public shame standing outside of a USPS office for eight hours saying you stole mail. Certainly is public shame, but going to prison also is public shame. Doing community service also is public shame in a sense. And so the court basically, they have a hard time drawing the line between which shame is valid and which shame is not valid. So they say, we're not really gonna consider shame altogether. It's just, it is reasonably related because there is some sense of shame and humiliation associated with all types of punishment. The dissent argues that this was just humiliation and they cite to basically some, some documents from the court that say this, this sign, him holding a sign outside of the USPS was really meant to humiliate him. And he says that humiliation isn't a valid form of punishment and shouldn't be used in our penal system um, to try and rehabilitate criminals. So that's the case. Uh, they're basically grappling with, is humiliation a valid form of punishment? Uh, is public shame a valid form of punishment? And the court says, yes, in this case it is. Um, so let's jump into a quick ex ante discussion of this case. Um, first to argue for Gementria's side, um, this is certainly public shaming. I mean, it, it does bring you back to, if you've read the Scarlet Letter, where people have to walk around with a letter on them because they've done something bad, um, or to old, old times where someone might have to stand in a public square and be flogged. You know, in that sense, it is certainly humiliation having to stand outside of the postal office like Gementria was going to have to. It is definitely humiliation. Um, and there's certainly going to be psychological distress associated with that. Um, there's a hypothetical that I'd like to pose, um, and we'll just see how the law would, 
grapple with this, I'd be interested, right? What if instead of saying, hey, Gementria, you have to stand outside the postal office, what if it said, hey, Gementria, we see you have a Twitter account and a Facebook account. You guys, you have a thousand followers on each of them. Um, what you have to do is post on there and say, I stole mail. Uh, this is my punishment. And you have to actually post on your social media and let all your friends and loved ones know. Certainly that would be public shaming. Um, I don't know how you could, it would be tough, I think, to differentiate the Gametria um, sentencing from that type of a sentencing. And I don't know if we love that type of a sentencing in our mind, right? I don't know if we love the idea of if you commit a crime, you have to let all of your family know, you have to let all of your friends know, all of your social circles know about this um, on social media. So um, that's to argue for Gementria. It might be a bit of a slippery slope as far as leading to more public shaming that could be bad, detrimental, and cause more psychological harm um, than good to criminals. Um, so let's talk about rehabilitation, though. The court, the, 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 the argument that the court adopted that there is a certain amount of shame associated with any type of punishment, right? If you go to jail, there's going to be shame in that. Um, so there is shame. There's always going to be shame. It's inevitable that there will be shame. Now, if we can keep people out of jails and keep them, you know, away from career criminals, away from that type of a mindset that exists in the jails, should we do that? Um, you know, if Gementria didn't have to go to jail at all, let's say he had no two month prison term or jail time term, excuse me, but he had to stand outside of the USPS. Well, we're keeping him out of jail. We might not toxify his brain more with, you know, more and more criminals around him and get into that type of a career criminal attitude. Also, if Gementria doesn't go to jail, the taxpayers aren't footing the bill for two months while he's staying there, right? Another thing to think about. It's actually less costly of a punishment on society for him to stand outside of the USPS. Um, there is also more freedom for Gementria in a way, right? If he has to be in jail for eight months, but he can just stand outside of USPS for eight hours... You know, there's more freedom in standing outside of USPS for eight hours, right? Um, so there's a few few arguments for it being rehabilitative, um, and that public shaming aspect is going to follow you. Whatever type of punishment you receive from the penal system, you're going to have some type of shame uh, and humiliation associated with it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.